I look like total hell. I want to be honest with you. I have not showered and I don't know how long. I am depressed. My mother died. I found out, you know, more information about that. Um, things that I, I just can't say. But um, I have tried my whole life. I have tried to keep going. I have tried my darndest. I've, I've, I've worked constantly. I, I am always working, except now that my mom passed. It has really hit me and really taken a toll on my mental health. And when you already have tons of problems to begin with, and something else happens. It's like a steamroll. It, it, it. The wounds and the cuts just get deeper and deeper. And I've always tried. I've always kept going. I've always done it. I'm to the point. I'm beat. I'm tired. I, I have not showered. I don't even feel like showering. I, I haven't left the house since the 10th of November. And it is, except one time, one time I did, I went to the gas station. Since the 10th of November, I've went to the gas station one time. Since before the 10th of November, at least a month before that, is when, when I wasn't working anymore. I haven't been out since then. I'm the type of person who always works, who always goes, who always pushes, who always this. And I am. I shouldn't say always, but I do. I do, because I do feel like it's always. And now, it's not going to be an always anymore because I can't do it. I'm a mess. I'm trying to pull myself out of this. I'm not sitting in, in sorrow. I'm not doing this. What happens is your brain just gets so fogged up. It's so filled up with bills, with problems, with death, with disabilities, family problems new issues that come up, outside forces. Uh, it's like you're, you're being targeted. You're the bullseye to 50 million things all at once. I don't think there is an answer except have faith and believe, but that's, that's like a miracle. I'm a mess. Look at how sick I look. Look at how disgusting. Look at, look at, I need to pull myself through this. I need to get out of this. I wanted you to see me this way. I wanted you to see how bad I look. I just do. Because if you ever get to this point, you'll see that somebody else was like that too. I would never allow myself to be on camera like this. I would never. But, but I'm doing it for a reason to prove, to, to just prove that it does happen. And um, I, uh, maybe a lot of people try to hide it, and I, I don't want to hide it anymore. I, I want people to know the truth of how bad it can get. Because say, for instance, if you go on Facebook or you go out in the, in the world, it, you don't see the real world. You 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 see a sorry, but a, but a fabricated fake outlook of a fabricated. Life, it, uh, all life is not like that. I could see on both sides is maybe the the people who do have things and look to us and and say that look how low they are, and I could see us looking up to them and say look how much they have. I, um, you can you, when you can see from both sides of it, you, you you're still confused. Even if you only see one way or see both ways, it it doesn't matter. It it's hard. It gets to the point where it's hard and. And I just want you to know, I'm trying to come up with solutions. Anything I get, I'm going to share with you. Don't give up on yourself. Have faith. Keep pressing forward. If you can't get out today, and then I keep telling myself lately, okay, maybe tomorrow. Then tomorrow comes. Okay, maybe tomorrow. I, I, I've been doing that for so long, and I'm not procrastinating. 
Because the thing is, is I don't have the answers for what I should do next. I don't have those answers. I can't blame myself. Hopefully, I just keep saying, take one day at a time and do one thing at a time. And hopefully you'll get to that next step. But the thing is, when there's so much stuff to do and there's so many problems, I can't see, see the one step at a time actually taking care of the problem. You're, you're needing to do 20 at a time, 20 steps at a time, 20 the next day. It gets to the point where it's impossible. You know, maybe I do need some counseling. Maybe I do need some help. But I, I, I do not know how this counselor is going to help me except to help me feel better for them, me, to be able to go do that. But do, do you see the process of how long this is going to take? How much damage that was already done? How much depth there is already? I don't see except the only thing to do is face, face it, and to get through and go move on to the next step. But, you know, when you've already lost a mobile home, a real home, and you're losing a third home. You've already had a repo on a car, plus a second, no, two repos on a car, plus a third one possibly coming. When you've never been able to have enough money to take care of your autistic child, when when you haven't had that, and, and it's not that you have done it and caused it yourself, it's outside circumstance. I don't have the answers, and I'm looking for them, and I want to find them, and I'm determined. I'm going to find out how to beat this. So stay in touch. Stay in tune. Stephen Lynn Hosky on Facebook. Stephen Lynn Hosky on YouTube. Put your comments. Let me know how hard it is. Uh, I'll talk to you if I can. I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to, to share. I think that it is important to know that others are going through things just like ourselves so it can help us to press to the next step because when you look in the world out there now it's not what you're going through it's sad like walking into a store at Christmas to get laundry soap say and you find yourself glancing at ornaments or or something on the shelf and you start crying almost to the point where you have to get out of there so nobody will see you you're not jealous, you're not, you're happy for those others, you are. You're not being selfish, you're, I think, just noticing yourself and trying to pull yourself through, so do me a favor, don't get down on yourself too bad. Find somebody to talk to for that day, each day. Do what you can to get through, and that's about it find some friends to talk to. My minutes are running out. I got about 19 seconds. I thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate all what everybody's done for me. And, you know, God bless you all. Take care. I'll, I'll stay in touch. Hopefully I'll take a shower by then. Thanks.